What's good, family? You are looking live at another episode of Special Delivery, and today we are doubling up with Supreme and the new Nike SBs that they just dropped. This is the Ramelzi collab that, that just released, and these joints are pretty fire, man. Like, the details on these shoes are, are pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This shoe also kind of bothers me a little bit because it kind of shows us the, the good and the bad of Supreme, as good as they look. And we're going to dive into that today, but before we get into it, y'all know the vibes, man. We got to unbox these joints, so let's dive in. All right, let's crack these things open, man. Two boxes at one time. Your boy got some skills, man. So, all right, right here, we got the low joints right here, which this, this might be my favorite joint right here. And then we got the highs right here, which I think is actually the more popular pair at this point, which is quite the term because, you know, the Supreme Lows or, or the Dunk Lows, I should say, are usually the more popular ones. But with both of these sneakers, man, you got uh, just a, a beautiful canvas, literally a beautiful canvas on these sneakers right here. So as you can see, you got a bunch of Ramilzi art right here on the shoe. It's like this sort of gothic type, uh, vibrant, just just very beautiful, but yet kind of like out there style right here. And, and, and you can see that all on this shoe right here. And the thing about it is that this is literally canvas material that these paintings are on, on this sneaker, which is really, really cool. Then on the, uh, the toe right here, you see you got a little bit of, of suede right there. Actually, this is like a this is like a, a, a felt material, honestly, and it goes up into the eyelets right here. You got that Supreme uh, lace jewel right there, the black tongue with the black lace, which, you know, it's not my favorite combination, but I still think it looks really, really good and it allows the, the art to sort of speak for the shoe itself. You got the Supreme tag right there, the world famous Supreme and Nike right there. Uh, this joint is really nice. And then you got the, the gum sole right there, which, Come on, come on now, who doesn't love a good gum sole? But moving on to the high top version right here, much of the same on this joint. So you got that, that uh, this is actually more of a suede material right here on these joints, especially when you get to the eyelets right here. Uh, the white lace, Supreme Jewel right there. You got that, that same world famous hang tag right there. Um, but you get a lot more art featured on this joint, obviously because the shoe has a lot more real estate to work with. And again, this is just all canvas right here. So from the toe going all the way back to the, the heel of the shoe, you can see that you got Ramelzi's art just featured on this joint, which is really, really cool, man. I just really appreciate how they did that and how this is actually on canvas material on these sneakers like that is a detail that i think has not really gone appreciated with these sneakers once again you got the gum sole on the outsole right there i i think these joints are are really good they're very vibrant and it's it's an interesting story for sure ramelzi is a very interesting artist uh, he meant a lot to, to hip-hop culture to street culture and it's something that I think should be appreciated. I'm just worried that everybody ain't appreciating it the way that they should. Let's talk about that a little bit. Ramelzi was an artist who lived in New York and he was very influential to hip hop culture. He would have these sort of graffiti sculptures and, and graffiti art that was just like, very um it was very it could be it could be dark but the, the, it, it featured a lot of color as you can see on these uh these sneakers right here and it was really cool it was just really cool to look at and and it it was super influential in the new york sort of street scene like you could just literally walk and and you might see some art inspired by this dude or you might see his art in general and he passed away in in 2012 um, which, you know, was a huge loss for, for hip hop, which I, honestly, I, I feel like this collaboration wasn't really too much fanfare around it in terms of like, or I guess I should say promotion around it because it's, it's Supreme, so they don't really say anything about anything. But I feel like this is part of that whole 50th anniversary of hip hop thing, which is really cool. Um, and it's something that I appreciate, especially considering that this isn't necessarily an artist that, that anyone like looks at or, 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 or goes to when you think about hip hop artists. Like most people will go to like Basquiat, for example, and, and Ramelzi is, is kind of a peer of Basquiat, but this is a dude who is, is less known, less popular, I would say, but, but really just as good artistically. And 
I think that's something that should be appreciated. So, so honestly, seeing these shoes right here, it's really cool to, to see that sort of take this, this form in a sneaker. But I also wonder how many people are actually appreciating that. Like I've seen the retail prices on these and they're going for like $600, $700 in some sizes. And that feels really ridiculous, but it feels even more ridiculous when you think about the fact that a lot of people aren't even like Googling who this dude was or learning a little bit about his art. They're just buying the shoes just to kind of buy them and flip them. And, and that's, that's just kind of annoying to me, but it also just goes to show you the, the, the good and bad of Supreme, right? Like they can take an artist like Ramelzi bring it to a platform and have people buy that thing up. And maybe, you know, there will be some folks who, who Google him, learn about his work, learn about his legacy and appreciate it a little bit more. But at the same time, it also feeds that resale beast that we know is out there and it exists. And, and it's just, I don't know, it feels, feels kind of gross, especially considering the fact that this is a guy who, who passed away. This is a legend who passed away. So I don't know. I, I feel really re weird about it. These shoes, they're, they're good. These are really good sneakers, but it just feels like a really, really weird collab to me. But at the same time, I don't know. I hope if you got these, then this is something that you can appreciate. Of course, if you didn't, these joints have sold out already. So you're probably not going to get them unless you're willing to pay those resale prices. And I definitely am not going to encourage you or recommend you do that. But Anyway, man, I, I think that this is a joint that, you know, if, if you look into the history, if you love your art, this is definitely a shoe that you can appreciate. But that's a wrap for this episode of Special Delivery. I'm your boy Sykes, and this is Supreme and Nike's Ramelzi SB Dunk Low and High. We'll catch y'all on the flip side. Peace.